So people raise the issue of rationing of care. I think there's plenty to do in Medicare, which isn't about rationing at all. It is about just uh, identifying areas where the program is being abused and going after it. So that means uh, uh, looking at places that spend 10 times more than the average on home health care or hospice care, understanding what's going on there. In some cases, it might be innocent. In many cases, I would, I'm sure it is fraudulent behavior that could be identified and found. I'll give you another area which is very ripe. Uh, Medicare approves coverage of new technology and pays for it often without any evidence that the new technology uh, is helpful to anybody, is better than what's already existing, and yet it frequently, largely politically driven, gets approved into the program. Uh, Medicare often puts conditions on that coverage. Uh, not everybody uh, should get a, a $50,000 cardiac defibrillator. So I know that uh, there's a lot of concern about interfering with doctors' decision making. Uh, but so, if it's done right, this uh, by having some, uh, some requirements that you follow evidence uh, in, in treating patients would actually help patients uh, not interfere with the doctor-patient relationship. But right now, the Congress doesn't permit uh, Medicare to do much of that at all. We only need to change the cost curve for Medicare spending by about 1%. If we were able to reduce by 1% the growth rate of Medicare spending, uh, all of the dire projections of, of Medicare eating up the entire budget would, would, would have to be redone. Uh, that's what we need to accomplish.